Live? Stream up? Okay, we're alive. It would appear you're alive, yes. Jeez. Uh, okay. So, uh, I know we haven't finished the Twitch ban yet, but I figured we'd take a break from that and start with some portal. This is our second go after some technical difficulties, but welcome. I'm here joined by my friend Arm. My friend Hello. Arm. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, right, you forgot there's like the delay isn't there. Uh. No, there isn't. Oh, yeah, you're. you're I right. mean. Are you listening to my audio or the stream audio? I'm listening to your audio, dummy. Okay, see, I'm just stupid. Uh. So, oh, hold on. Game minimized. Okay, it's back up. All right, so we're just gonna play some Portal. <laughs> portal test sequence. Something identification card? Head? Is this a head? It's or? so fuzzy! And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aid Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. My specimen. Before we start, however, <laughs> we that fun. And learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious God. may occur. Not well, only does she need glasses, but also, like, uh, she has Parkinson's. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. So, at this point, I'm sure most people have seen this game. By the way, I am not currently see- I can't see the Twitch stream right now, so I'm gonna rely on you to let me know if things are fucked up. I can see the chat, though. Okay. Portal is a fantastic game. I know I've played it a while ago, but the beauty of me is that I have goldfish brain, and I don't really remember anything about it. <laughs> Fuck you, camera! <laughs> oh god, what do we do? Uh... There's a big red button, and we have oh, a cue okay, board. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. What? Are you- are you actively- <laughs> oh, Maybe- maybe if I prop this upright. It would actually be funny if that was a possibility. It actually is, I think. There, oh there's my. there's a playthrough where the person solves every puzzle the wrong way, and that's how they solve this one, is they, like, prop up the cube so it will fall in. That's anyway. amazing. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. No. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grip, will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. So, a fun fact about this game is the entire game is actually always loaded. These are just like teleportation boxes. So speedrunners are able to glitch out of the environment and get straight to the end game area to basically speedrun it that way. Huh. That seems kind of resource intensive. Well, keep in mind they built this in the the sort or the the same engine that Half Life Two Please was built in, which was like almost a decade old at this point. It's like it was an old engine, so. It was really mm. easy to make it work that way. Mm. Perfect. 
Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure what the hell was to the that? button are not what? part of this test. What was what? Arm? We're just gonna continue. Oh, the music's gone. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. <laughs> the writing of this game is fantastic. Oh, your headphones made a weird sound? Mine. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Hold on. These were added in, I think, what was the last update of the game. And if you bring them to certain areas on every map, they play a sound. It was a way to tease the sequel. I don't know where I'd supposed to bring this one to make the sound, though. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. For your Hello, own safety, Dawson. do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I was watching the, tw the later YouTube show thing. This is Twitch, so I'm referring to Twitch chat. Yeah. Man, that was actually terrifying on my end. Oh. My headphones <laughs> literally broke. Like, they made a weird electric cackling noise in my ear and then decided to no longer work. Oh. <laughs> the, the wonders yeah. of being live on Twitch. <laughs> I plugged them into the socket now, trying to charge them. I don't know if they're gonna, like, explode next to me now. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap? So, no warnings for this one. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. Oh, wait, was there a... Okay, I'm stupid. There's a radio on top of that. And then, remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. See, uh, I don't know if you were there when I mentioned this. These radios were added in one of the last updates all over the map. As a teaser for mm. Portal 2. If you bring them to the cer a certain location on each map, they play an audio file that, when put through the right program, create an image. And there's a collection of images oh, that tease okay. the sequel. Neat. Also, another fun fact about the development of this game, Valve did a thing that they mm -hmm. often do, in that they, like, went and contacted- or they went to, like, a bunch of college students. Welcome to Test Chamber mm -hmm. 4. Yeah. You're doing quite well. 
and they uh, like look to all Vital like testing apparatus destroyed. The uh <laughs> words. They went and looked at all of the uh, right, uh <laughs> what? graduation projects. That's what I was looking for. Ah. <laughs> and the people who were one of the groups of students were making a Once medieval again, fantasy game revolving around portals. We will not monitor the next test mm -hmm. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. They basically hired the the, all, like all of them and told them like hey just make an actual full game for this and this is what they ended up making god this one is what are you doing right now is freaking my mind what this is this, this is chill uh, player character which hang on can we read her name tag no it just says I mean, aperture I sure can't because it's so fuzzy it just says aperture the name of the, the company that the in universe company Mm -hmm. To save time and development, they built it in the same engine as Half-Life 2, but that meant reusing a lot of resources and textures. So to avoid seeming lazy, they just said that it was set in the same universe. Mm -hmm. I mean, so far you've just been acing all these puzzles. I mean, it is like the tutorial puzzles. Also, I've played this game before. Caution, bonk. <laughs> Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Another radio. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, mm -hmm. two. The That's about the sound I heard when my headphones died. <laughs> the commentary in this game is great. Mm -hmm. uh, which makes things easier on me because I have to talk less. Mm -hmm. Man, actually, do you remember how long ago this came out? God, early 2000s. I solved that one too fast, they didn't get all the dialogue out. You can read the subtitles <laughs> though. Was it part of the orange box? It was, wasn't it? Yes. It was the... It, it was just the random extra thing to add more value to the orange box at its release. You know, mm -hmm. they, they, the big selling things were Half-Life 2, I want to say Episode 2? And, uh... TF2. Portal was just mm -hmm. an extra thing for filler, and it proved to be the most successful game in it. However, well, it just took me. I only, I think, ever played or saw Team Fortress 2. Was it like a Team Fortress? Like, just the first Team, Team Fortress 1 was a mod for Counter Strike. Well, then, didn't know that. Uh, and Dota 2, Dota 1 was a mod for, for Warcraft 3. Cool. Valve has a history of reaching out to mod developers and just being like, hey, you wanna actually pu just publish this? Oops. Like, um, there's actually a number of portal mods that you can buy the mods on the Steam front, like, storefronts. Like, buy in air quotes. You can download it has an official thing on the storefront. Mm -hmm. Which I may end up playing some of those in the future. Yeah, like... Oh, I, I very much have always enjoyed Please the portal. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any so. contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory... Personally, I always wanted to, like, get out of bounds. Followed by See what's out there. Good luck. Yeah. I mean, 
I think that's a part of like the the joy of games, especially in youth, is like wondering what the fuck is going on out in the world. Even though like mm -hmm. I now know it's nothing, I like to imagine the in universe what's beyond. You know, mm -hmm. which we know that this is taking place parallel to Half Life Two. Man, imagine making a game where it's like this, like streamlined puzzle, straight, and you see like the fucking office up there. But there's actually something up there, like a whole second game that you can get to only if you manage to break out of bounds. Mm. Some games do kind of do things like that, like hidden things in like the area just next to where the game is. Yeah, but a whole game? Just... That would be, I think, a novelty. Mm. Uh, Goodbye, no. radio. You will be missed. Man, um... So it's actually Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. There's some uh, interesting inferences that can be made in regards to Portal now that Half-Life Alex is out. So, mm -hmm. Aperture Labs is an American-based corporation. And this is going on roughly parallel to the events of Half-Life 2. Half-Life Alex regrets to inform you takes that place before Half-Life 2. Impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. And um oh, Jesus. But yeah. So in Half-Life Alex you can find a globe of the United States. Or a globe, and on the globe, I should say, like the United or North America in general, Fantastic. is completely crossed you out. Resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere so, of extreme pessimism. What the hell is going on in America? We know it has to still be there because Portal 2, which is set after Half Life 2, Aperture still exists, which means North America still exists. So for some reason, mm -hmm. like, is it just that people think all life in North America is dead? Did the Combine kill everyone? Which, I just realized if nobody's seen Half-Life, this makes no sense. Half-Life is set in the same universe and the world's Hello been conquered again. by aliens. I was, I was gonna say, uh, by now everyone should have played or seen Half-Life. I realize things might be that old by now that yeah. some might not. Speedy thing go in. Speedy thing come out. We spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. What are those symbols for on the ground? Uh I think in this case it's telling you like how far in you are. Yeah, one, two, three. So sort mm -hmm. of a guide on where you're going. Isn't there also some achievement for lugging one of those companion cubes through the game or something? Oh, that's uh, there's an entire test based around Momentum. the companion cube. The function of mass and velocity is yeah, but I thought similar to how the guy is solving everything the wrong way. Can't you? I know there's an achievement for getting all of the radio broadcasts, but you can't carry things between tests because the emancipation grills these things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emancipate it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, at some point I might actually play through Black Mesa, the remake of Half-Life 1, and then maybe the Half-Life 2 mm -hmm. games. Because there's four Half-Life 2 games. Oh, really? There's Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 Lost Coast, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. Uh. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Half-Life 2 is, um... <laughs> So, wait. Oh, I opened the up there. Was this your first flub? First portal flub? Yeah. I thought that this was gonna start that track. But yeah, um, 
Half-Life 2 is the sequel to Half-Life, and is set, like, like I think, like, 20 years after the first game. Mm -hmm. With the, the first game seeing you working in, like, a governmental facility accidentally, uh, inducing an alien invasion. Um. And then, Half-Life 2 is set, like, those aliens have basically conquered the world. Then, mm -hmm. Half-Life Lost Coast is a debatably canon game where basically they had a uh, uh, that they took a segment that was cut from Half-Life 2 and remade it to show off mm -hmm. like Nvidia technology so oh. it may not be canon but it could also just slot right into the middle of the story of Half-Life 2 mm -hmm. As part of an optional test protocol, the, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject hometown, here. Fucking love the writing in this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um... Yeah, and then Half-Life 2 Episode 1 is the sequel to Half-Life 2. Where the plan was to start releasing the game in an episodic format. Oh, I just realized there's been messages going on through chat. Uh, hang on. I mean, isn't there, like, the uh, Half-Life Alex stuff? Uh, Half-Life Alex is the most recent, and it takes place between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Oh boy, okay, so yeah. really no so, Half-Life 3, like Dawson yeah. says. Yeah, although actually, so, um, yeah, Half-Life 2, uh... Bleh, sorry. Half-Life uh, 2, or Half-Life 2 Episode 1 was the sequel to Half-Life 2, and then Half-Life 2 Episode 2 was the sequel to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it ended on sort of a massive cliffhanger, which is why people have wanted another game for years. Mm -hmm. But... Valve has basically said, like, yeah, the reason it's been delayed- so hang on. The reason it's been delayed is actually kind of interesting, where basically what happened was, um... Hang on. Wasn't it that by now the hype has been so upped that no matter what they release it will never be good enough for the fans? Uh, no actually. It's- so Valve works different from any other game companies where they, they have the phrase, in Valve the desks have wheels. You are not forced to work on any project. Oh, Jesus. You can oh, work boy. on any project you want to. So anytime you can step away from the game that you're working on and work on a different one. Mm -hmm. After Portal came out, everyone in Valve was enamored with Portal and wanted to work on the sequel. So mm -hmm. they all went and worked on the sequel, so Half-Life got held up by that. Then Half-Life 2 came out, and when Half-Life 2 came out, was when they were working on the VR technology. And everyone was amazed at the advancements the hardware team was making and everyone just now wanted to work on it. control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. Yeah, everyone just wanted to work on the VR tech. Feel free to pass mm -hmm. and An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to Gladys. Hey, I'm so good. But yeah, the, um... Vital testing apparatus destroyed. God, what was I just saying? <laughs> I'm like, solving uh... puzzles and listening to Gladys and talking all at the same time. Mm hmm It's all good. I honestly was too distracted by reading Peptic Solve and wondering what Peptic means. It's also in the name of Pecti Peptic Bismol, so I actually wonder what Peptic means. You know what? Too cool. But, uh... Yeah, God, what was I saying? The, uh... Oh, yeah. But they were also enamored with VR that they ended up, like, not working on Half-Life. And they <laughs> knew, like, when we make Half-Life 3 Episode 3, it needs to be done in VR. Like, they... they they were just like, you can't not. It's so it's such amazing technology. I wonder if Half Life Alex is in theory like the demo version. Like, hey, that's exactly the point. Water? 
they wanted to see if, like, there was still interest in the Half-Life series. Oops. They wanted to see if there was still interest in the Half-Life series. And so they made Half-Life Alex a prequel to Half-Life 2. And it sort of contains, like, setup for what's gonna be the story of Half-Life 3 now. Mm-hmm. I would love to get a VR headset at some point. I had, used to have a friend in high school that had one. Also, since no it came up, you. when the testing is over, I, I you will be missed. What were we gonna say? Peptic. It's an adjective. Relating to digestion, especially that in which pepsin is concerned. So, pepsin? It's a certain enzyme of the stomach acid. Hmm. All subjects intending to handle high-energy gamma-leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. So if I recall right, this was the first portal back in the day that- I mean, first portal, the first puzzle back in the day that, like, gave me a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, though, I've played enough of the game that I think I'm fine. I've beaten this game, I want to say, three times over the years. <laughs> My first run Genie, through... it's almost like I can't tell that you're just running through all these. Like, no problem. <laughs> yes. Hello. Oh, hello. We have a new guest. Say hello to Veneer. Hello. Hi, fellas. What's going on? I'm streaming. I think she's not the only one. Oh god, wait. Who else? I here? brought a friend with me. One. We're being invaded. Yes. For those who don't know, in the stream, I I uh, do this stuff on my Discord server. So. People can just pop in whenever they want. Yeah, I'm just stopping by to say hello, my lovelies. Hello. Hello. Fuck. So In a while. Would you? We do. We're just playing through Portal and hanging out. Nice, nice. Good shit right there. Good shit. Yeah. Like I said, so far he has not had any trouble. Solving anything, I'm, I'm amazed. Mm. God, I, I only saw like portal maybe once for the Very, days. very good. A oh, complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. Yeah, I'm gonna I turn think out. actually you and I, Brian, had started playing Portal Two at some point, but never really got far. Maybe. I know I want to play Portal 2 after this at some point. Both the base game and the multiplayer, as well as some of the more popular mods. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't mm. mind playing through uh, Black Mesa and ha the Half-Life 2 collection. That sounds like fun. I very much enjoy like the the big name Valve games. Mm. If we can the get, like, 7 co-op to, to work, we can probably all play together on that. Actually, we don't even need 7 co-op, we could just do, um... At the conclusion of the test. Gary's mod? Thank yeah, Gary's mod has a multiplayer version of Half-Life 1. Yeah, actually, yeah, we could. We could play through that, uh, separate from a playthrough of Black Mesa. Mm. There's an achievement for destroying every one of these cameras you can. I think there's, like, 20 across the game Vital that you can destroy. 20? Turns out all these cameras actually also contain AI and you've just been on a mass murder spree. Oh, I mean, kind of I wouldn't put that past Aperture from what you see of the company in the second game. I won't go right, too into detail on that till we play the second one. And there's actually still mm. more, uh... Games in what they now are, they're not calling it the Portal series anymore, they call it the Aperture series. Where it's now become mm. their way of like showing off VR technology advancements. Mm. Nice. I see. That sounds really cool though. Also, can I be heard? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh. 
Okay, yes, so... you're very quiet on my end, but hello, Zed. Hello. Hello, Fox Boy. Welcome. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh god, I didn't even see this from over here. What game? Boo boo. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Oh no. Oh no, the ubu win. Oh no. Oh god, I can see it like coming up. The speedy thing comes out. Oops. If Moro got you squid, you wouldn't have ubu. Fuck. I'm gonna split you in half, Ubu, with the put a gun. God. Ubu. I'm just. Ubu, notice this is your portal gun. Oh Go god. Later. Oh god. Ubu. Top tier commentary. Guys, you should have. <laughs> you guys should have heard me when I was watching someone play Dead by La Daylight or something like that, and you were playing the cowboy guy. I couldn't have stopped doing the cowboy fucking accent. Oh no. How would part? Howdy, partner. We're doing room tune shooting. Let's go. Round up them cattle. I can't do oh, it. Finally. I can't do it, but it's awful. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. This room is making me nauseous. Oh no, Arma! Please don't die. Don't oh. die on me. Oh. I'm gonna try. Portal don't two. die. And wait until we get to some of the Portal 2, like, bigger mods. There's gonna be some crazy fucking shit in those. Oh boy. Oh. I'll prepare some barf bags. <laughs> prepare them barf bags. We- we be going on a- on a roller coaster ride, folks. Yeehaw! Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh I no, so what sorry. are you doing? Ryan, no. It's too early. What am I doing now? I'm just a Sagittarius. <laughs> just a Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Wait, it's why? It's my fault that the moon is at an obtuse angle tonight. Listen, are you making fun of my people right now? Wait, what? <laughs> 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 oh god, I, I love I love when you know, people are you like, can what? Make one or all of your vital organs to the aperture science of the steam fun oh, for girls. Boy. It's true. There, now I can actually read the chat. Yeah, I have the chat open myself so I can read. Hmm. Hello, my name is Arm. I'm oh, 25 and I will learn how to read. Oh, we're just- we're about the same age. I thought I was 12. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me make some of you guys fucking... ...moderators. Uh, uh... <laughs> I need to stop. How do Hello, I upgrade Dawson. You? Hold on. Hello, Dawson. How do I upgrade you to be a moderator? Uh. Don't mind me, Dawson. Twitch, you're gonna be minded. <laughs> you're gonna be minded. Oh no! Your name's about to do some MK Ultra shit on Dawson. Oh no! I am gonna Me. split the parallel universes to make a fucking ultimate. Oh come on! Ultimate yeah, bean of darkness. Yeah. There we go. Uh. Okay. Okay. Even your place forty chest confirmed. Like, you, you can't even fight it at this point. I wanted to take a discreet sip and mute it myself, and then managed to proceed and pour it all over me. I gotta open up. <laughs> I, I, I can't make uh, people moderators for my thing, so, uh, my, uh, so let me quickly open up Twitch so I can make you a moderator, Veneer. Okay. <coughs> this Fuck, Twitch thing has been going great. I've destroyed my headphones, and I've joined the wet t-shirt contest. Oh, oh nice. Why did it destroy your headphones, though? How do you make someone a moderator again? I did this <coughs> earlier. <coughs> Veneer, don't die. Listen, I'm there. sorry. Don't kill me, please. Right. Ooh. Veneer, you're now a moderator. Okay. And... Thank you. And now Dawson's a moderator too. Woo! 
Oh no, what have you done? You have brought the end of times. I am now a moderator. I think completely unrelated. I have a bagel. I have bagel. I, I can't speak. Holy shit. There you go. Okay. Dad, are you having a stroke? I have bagel bites. Back in the game. Bagel oh, bites? I'll bite your right? bagels. No. What is is it like mean? pizza bagels? Is it like pizza yes. bagels? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I don't know what a pizza bagel is. I must proceed to Google. It's when you make Literally, it easy. It's American cold beer. Are just into five year old children because of bagel bites. Oh my god! Okay, I see. It's it's like mini pizzas, but they're on a bagel. Uh, I think I've had something like this, and I remember that the bun is so crunchy, like uncomfortably so. We're already on test sixteen of nineteen. Wow, already, damn. Be like. I love the the turrets. But yeah, pizza pizza bagel is delicious. Also, uh, another fun fact of how this is in the engine of Half Life: he just ripped the same AI of the turrets in Half Life, and just gave them a new model and a voice. Ah, uh, wait, did the? I mean, I can't remember Half Life much. Do the turrets there have a voice or? Nope. No, I don't think they did. <clears throat> I don't think. Oh they my did. god! What? You walking around the corner with the portal open just absolutely did me another mind freak. <laughs> Man, I, I want them to make a VR portal game so bad. It'd be so just like mind fuckery. Oh yeah, that would be interesting though. Help. If you or a family member you know has been mindfucked by a portal game, you may be entitled to compensation. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting those, like, insurance commercials that are, like, weird. Insurance? Like, these kind of areas are the areas I absolutely loved in the game and I wished I could find more. Just... Oh, these, like, little secret- are these secret I, like... areas? Yeah, I mean, this one's kind of obvious. I love that he's using the computer to cook the beans. Oh, oh the no, bean not computer. the dry beet. Not the dry beans. Me and the boys out at 3 a.m. cooking beans Aptral on the processor. Running Aptral Google Chrome. Are we the bean hunters? Wait, hang on. Isn't it if you look up somewhere, can't you portal up somewhere in here, or is that...? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to check. Just wanted to make sure. Mm. The bean hunters. <laughs> Gotta cook up them good the ass beans. Lie. The cake is a lie. God damn it, I kind of want cake now though. <laughs> oh, Feeling you? Oh cake. god. You traced out a red X on the ceiling. I don't want you to. Whoever put I that gave cake. us a little marker. Mmm. Oh, do they start shooting each other if you put your portal above the other turret? No. Oh. No friendly fire. Let's see, what does Dawson have to say? If you and your loved one's husband down this with this... Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dawson. <laughs> okay, my boy. Like, Sorry, the buddy. fucking little emoji. Yes. Yeah. Your oh, look, there, there's my blood. Yeah, oh. there is your blood. God, they're so cute. What, the robots? Oh, Let Jesus Christ. They are oh, God. Cute and deadly. Cute and deadly. Ryan, what are you doing? You should have just made a portal. You're not thinking with portals. I mean, there's no portable surface near me over there, so you can't- You can only portal where it's white. Oh, okay. I do wonder, the twitch emoji of the blonde woman, who that is, or what that is. It's it kinda looks like Miley Cyrus. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, yeah. Like, she kinda looks like Cyrus. Like all, <laughs> but what emotion is she displaying? She is disclaiming, like... 
Is it like the new pod emote? Because I know that, um, like, oh. they made it so that there's like a new pog emote every like 24 hours now. Like, that's what they did to like change it. I like the original pog mo emoji. Also, why why you guys want an emoji of myself doing the pog face? Yeah, because want... you're like our own personal pog, duh. No. Icon. Emoji. You invented fashion. I invented. I am not. How could you not when when you're playing party chess? Listen, I I don't have a high Q like a, th a thousand radius. <laughs> a high Q. A high Q. <laughs> Listen, it's raining in Mount my Fuji. English. <laughs> my English. My English is this horrible. Leave me alone. You are. Hilarious veneer. A high cube. A high cube. Final testing apparatus destroyed. Veneer champ would be dope as hell. No, Dawson, don't, don't encourage. Veneer champ. V chan. I mean, I've been called V chan. I mean. Oh, God. Now I'm just getting reminded of Dova always called me uh, Veneer chan. Veneer chan! Mm. <laughs> I hate being Dova cold chat. So. No. Vital testing no. apparatus no. destroyed. <laughs> my words. I always stumble on my words for some reason. Target lost. Well done, Android. No. The enrichment center once what? again Hang reminds on. you no. that Android Can you turn the turret to look into the room? I feel bad just leaving him laying oh, there. Oh. Shh, shh, little buddy. Shh. Everything will be okay now. You will have a nice view and good life. Goodbye. We'll put. We'll give you a funeral. We're gonna either bury you or burn you, and we'll make sure to keep your ashes in a nice little jar. <laughs> To, to condemn our sins and give it a good life, we pray and bless. Are we Rest doing, in peace. Are we doing some Jesus stuff right now? Like, I, am I just now, wanted to give the turn a nice home. Listen, I am being a priest right now. I am, I am trying to give its wow. blessings. Oh, if you're being it's a priest, the companion tube. On. Oh no! <gasps> it's the meme! On, oh man, I mislabeled all the cubes before. I thought those were already our companions, yeah, but uh, I lied. Those were just waiting. Oh no. So, ah, uh, fun bit of this. weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. The reason this is the weighted companion cube on a design aspect, I think, is interesting. They wanted to make a whole test where you have to run through the whole test using one cube. Playtesters kept forgetting to bring the cube with them. So mm -hmm. they were like, oh, we need to make the cube distinct from all other cubes. And that's why it has a the heart, and they had Gladys make a little bit of dialogue about it. Testing our superstition, is it canon? Or like, I remember that there's a human the squished inside that cube? That it's the not canon, it's a game theory theory. Okay. Uh, the companion cube is someone's waifu secretly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's see. Let's be real here. This, this companion cube, someone has a waifu of it. Honestly, a mat. Yeah, I, I'm I pretty bet sure there is art out there of like I think you human can body with that thing for a head. I think you can get. There's definitely art of that. I've seen a schoolgirl outfit one, and I'm pretty sure that there's actually a fucking um. Uh, what's the word? Uh, you can get a companion cube body pillow. Why would you? Why would you want a body pillow of a companion cube? Yo. Oh my god, please tell me the companion cube body pillow is a companion cube square just pillow, you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, it's oh, just Oh, it's like square. one of those, like, decorative couch pillows? Yes! Yes. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the one- of Brian, remember you showed me this picture with body pillows and one of them is a body pillow within the body pillow? Yeah, I want the, oh. the body pillow body <laughs> pillow. <laughs> oh, the enrichment center reminds you so that the weighted companion it's cube so cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment it's my wife. Wife. It's it's Dawson's wife who confirmed. Yeah, it is Dawson's wife who confirmed. Dawson, I didn't know your your wife was a companion cube. Yeah. Listen, it's okay. 
It's okay. Nothing to be ashamed about. The companion cube is like is like high high tier quality waifu material. Once again, for those nothing that edgy are about it to our chat. No, it's nothing edgy about it. I just told you how you didn't you didn't know. Listen, now I know. You can't hide from me now. We all know. <clears throat> God, my throat. <laughs> I think this is the best designed test chamber in the game. Just like the idea of an entire chamber based around moving one cube around. Yeah. Like it, it is interesting. It's interesting what you could do with the cube. It's funny, I I've remember this I certainly got turned around a lot. I kind of lost oh. track of where we are. Yep. We died. Oh. Need. I looked away for a Rip. second, looked back right as the energy pellet hit, pellet hit us. Oh, everyone, no. everyone press F in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, the, Pay um, your specs. I remember this test being way longer back in the day, but it's actually like very short when you know what you're doing, which that describes the whole game. You know, mm. it's a puzzle game, so the whole game feels much longer than it actually is when you first play it. It's kind of like getting oh. over it with Bennett Foddy in that way. Another game I want to play through at some point. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no, I, I remember what uh, getting over it. I watched you play it and you struggled. Mm. I felt bad. <laughs> yeah, I've played it in the past. And I, I think I'm pretty good at it. I have not gotten past Orange. I heard that that context of that makes more sense if you know anything about the game. But orange is the furthest I've gotten in getting over it with Bennett Foddy. I suppose it's like an area? A color code thing? No. Yeah, I think it is. There is no, an it's orange. Not. It's an orange in the map. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. An item? Okay. Like an actual the, Yeah, like the fruit. No, companion cube, why did you fall? No. I trusted you. I trusted you. My wife, I trusted you. Come on, <laughs> we're going on a ride, on the magical ride. Let's go. I'm going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship, flying through the sky. Stop. You did it. The weighted sky. companion Wait, cube certainly is this copyright infringement? However, I don't think so. Accompanied you for the rest of the test, and unfortunately, must be euthanized. Cut, cut, click, click. Please escort your companion cube clack. to the Aperture Science <laughs> Emergency oh, no. Intelligence. Is this where you have to let go? We're being, <laughs> we're being asked to incinerate companion cube. Hey, oh, no. what? Hang on. Hold what on. if you tear the camera out of the wall and that sacrifice camera, that instead? That camera is stuck. But <gasps> you could sacrifice the radio too. But I thought we could just pay our. I thought we could just pay our respects and just like you know, say a little prayer and then we have to Center, sacrifice it to the future science rewards. employees and all test subjects. Why are you sacrificing? I think I'm not ready to make that. Thank you. Euthanizing process. But we have to sacrifice. There's no other way to do this. Oh. We gotta say our prayers now. I mean, it seems like. Oh no! So oh. close. Ready? We all we all know that we all have a companion cube. Why don't you go grab that radio too and try and jam that in as well? Then you're, I'm not ready. Why? You, what do you mean you're not ready? I'm not ready to let go of this cube. Why? It. it has a heart on it. <laughs> it's stolen mine. Ooh, hold on, I know what I, I know what we can do. Hold on. If we. It's stolen your heart. Put this camera mm -hmm. down here. Put the companion cube. Hold on. Testing cannot continue until your you know, companion cube You know, I wonder. I wonder if there's a picture of the companion cube in a maid's outfit. <laughs> Oh Just a normal square. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I gotta be fast. Goodbye. Faster. First, I must make a very important Google search. My Google search is free. Oh, no. Oh, no. Arma, no. Um, there is, in fact, not a companion cube in a maid's outfit. However, there is a maid outfit made to look like a companion cube. Does that count? No. Hmm. Oh. Hold on, hold on. 
Like that? I don't know, that ruins the fun, you know? You sure? It, it seems... It, she looks like she's a uh, oh, no. Mexican... No, Asian mom. What have you done? Brian, oh no, what you have done? Can you get it out? Oh wait, hey, listen to what she's saying. You have managed to ensnare yourself permanently inside this room. She's acknowledging that we trapped ourselves. Oh. She acknowledged that we fucked up. The testing cannot continue. So, if we fuck up like that again, uh, with the game's just like, all right, you're screwed. That's the only spot. Oh. oh, oh no, that's right. No, that door's just stuck open now. Oh. So yeah, if you manage to lock well, the been a store, companion. like lock yourself Your in this room or lock the companion cube in the other room, you get stuck test. for the rest of the they game. So they made it. Mm -hmm. They made like a thing that instead of just getting rid of the door, they put in a thing that acknowledges you can do that. Because it would rather die in a fire than become so a burden to you. So the fact that you lock you lock the companion cube on the other side, they're like. Well, yeah. we pay you now, so we better open the door so you could do the sacrifice. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> anyway. GLaDOS. Goodbye, my friend! No. Say our prayers and hope the continue. Lord. Until we hope we... Ha I hope the companion... The yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, look. What uh, the hell? Oh. Uh, huh. Is that a glitch? Uh. Wait, why is it jiggling? <laughs> Release it. <laughs> What? Um. Although the no. processes remarkably painful. Eight out of ten aperture the companion cubes just... engineers believe Maybe we can make it into a Schrodinger's companion cube. Just get it stuck half in, half out. Make it so the game thinks it's dead, but it isn't. Come on. No! It's totally in the- oh, no. no! It is actually in the- oh no! <laughs> well, rest in peace, F for respects, for F in the chat, folks. Oh. Oh. Buddy Order and Chad seen a man turn themselves into a pickle. Oh no! Or is he, is oh. He a <laughs> oh no, not the pickle. Oh, uh, that's- that's pretty fucking Nothing. funny, I think. The that would be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Its conclusion. The enrichment oh, center is required to remind you that you will be <laughs> You know, you- you know you can't escape the pickle. You, you can't escape the pickle. Reminds me that at a convention, a man once ran up to my friend who was cosplayed as Rick. With a jar with a single pickle in it. Being like, eat this! Eat this pickle! Eat this! Like, God. Oh, no. <laughs> so weird. Or at least he didn't say, Look at me, I'm Pickle Rick! Mm -hmm. Rick! Though I don't know if that would have been better or worse if he did. I don't know, but. Oh, God. That's, that would be horrible, honestly. What? I'm kind of curious. Why did he carry a single pickle in a jar, though? Was he like a dude cosplaying, or is he some normal dude? Hello? Karma? Hello. Yeah. Hi. Sorry. Hi. You were like, I, you were starting out for a moment because I was asking you a question. Yeah, I saw. Uh... Someone in chat saying that the stream is running at one frame per second, and I'm not experiencing that on my end, yeah, so... Yeah, is the stream running fine on your guys' end, the Twitch end? Yeah, it looks like it's running fine on okay, my so end when then, I load it up on here. Uh, not on Discord, on Twitch. Is the Twitch version running yeah. fine? Okay. It yeah, so... pops once in a while, but doesn't persistently, so... Alright, so it's probably just that person's end. Sorry, buddy. Well, they say that. Yeah. Here we go. But um, but yeah, Arma. Um, was the guy wearing cosplay? Was were they dressed up as like Rick, or were they just a normal dude Dude, carrying a pickle? God, so if my memory doesn't Someone's betray me, it was just a dude right with a pickle. Why? I don't know. I mean, obviously they must have been a Rick and Morty fan, but asking a stranger you've never met on a convention 
ask him to, con to consume a fucking pickle that has been not cooled for god knows how long. It's really psychotic. I met weird Ugh. people like that before. Like, except it was at my school. Like, it was, like, I'm talking about, like, a Ruby character, and then a random kid comes up and says, talks about how he's gonna do not good things to that to said character, which made me very, very uncomfortable. Because mm. why, why would you say that to complete straight? Who are you? I... You know, I, I... I don't have nothing to say about that. That's actually pretty terrible, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I... I don't understand some people. They're... I, I am afraid of people. I am people-phobic. People... It's not even a word, people-phobic. Probably not, but you know what? I'm eating bagel bites. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, eat eat those. Okay, I'm back. Eat those big big. Eat those bagel bites. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oops oops oops. Hey, I'm back out. Oh jeez. Whoa, what's going on? I almost died. Oh, oh! Okay, I thought you were about to be crushed. Gonna kill him? I don't know. So aim upright. Hold on. I feel like we're slowly getting out of like the tutorial testing waters. No, oh, yeah, we're in like the the proper testing now. Thank fucking Christ that they can't break the glass. Yeah. Like, imagine they did. You're you're done. All right, there we go. The Ooh. one that's uh, stopped me from getting the rum. Oh, I missed. I like barely fucking missed. I honestly don't even know how to solve that one, not I'm, gonna lie. I'm trying to hit them with the uh, energy pellets that that thing is producing. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I would've been honestly- Oh my I god, I aimed too hour. high. Bless you. Bless you. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. This might still overshoot it, I think. Hmm. It's- it looks like it need, you need you need some good timing on it. Too bad that those turrets have taken out the little window with so many pellets I can't see through it anymore. I think I'm gonna hit him now. Ooh, is it gonna hit? I nicked him, but I didn't hit him. God damn it! <laughs> bitch! Put put on your sniper uh, binoculars. If only he had the the scope. Oops. <laughs> Portal gun with a scope. Portal oh, gun fuck. with a scope. Hold on, I'm gonna. Oh no! Oh, oh lord! <laughs> and that's the end of Portal. I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the end of Portal. Now I'm behind the fucker. While testing in Portal, you may be entitled to compensation. Oh, gosh. Why didn't you do this before? Because I didn't realize he was looking that way until like... Because I'm because i dumb, that's why. <laughs> Simple answer. Okay, oh. that one's down. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And 
this should kill him. Aww, I was <laughs> ready to do a little like a la ola wave even though no one can see it. Oh my god! God, finally, okay, all of them are gone. Fuck you. Oh, 33. There's 33 cameras across the game you can destroy. The little achievement thing just popped up. Oh, die. Does that mean you have destroyed 33 or? No, just to get the achievement. You don't have to to win the game or anything. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Does that mean you got the achievement right now or just saying that it is an achievement? Oh, no, no. It's just saying that it, every time you destroy a new camera, it gives you another level of the achievement kind of thing. Ah, uh, alright. Lets you know how you're progressing. So that's a camera I've never destroyed before. Damn it. Oh wait. Oh I did do it successfully. Okay, never mind. So yeah, now that thing yeah, is now moving. It's this this core time, huh? I suppose I'm going through it so fast that, like, it's probably hard to follow. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, you're- you're- you're doing your best to figure out what you want to do, you know? Uh... So, is this so don't worry about it. Okay, so this moves that out. Oh no, that was a bad idea. Yep. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> F in the chat. I'll press F in your chat. Okay, I see what I'm no. supposed to do. No. Let me just... Don't you dare. Oh darn it, I was hoping oh. I'd land on the track. Now we can properly F you. <laughs> I realized, okay. You can F me anytime. Mm-hmm. Oh, but what have you done? <laughs> what have you Nothing. done? No, Nothing. no, you know There's what you did. There's this thing called sinning. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I did no such thing. It just flubbed. <laughs> just have a seat over here. Have a seat over here, Arma. I mean, Why, do you, you... want to Freudian analyze me? You want to analyze my Freudian slip, huh? <laughs> you sin just by existing, right, Zed? Oh no, I'm gonna get banned on Twitch for showing hate towards Git. Kidding. Wait, what? Uh, what did he say? <clears throat> for context, uh, Ollie and I read through the Twitch like, the guidelines what, what before you, starting this. What you would get banned for doing, and you're banned for making fun of someone for their sexual orientation. How, how did that relate to me? I forgot. I said you're, you're si sitting just by existing, right, Zed? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's mean. No, you, you know, I thought I thought I thought I, I was sitting for existing already. Don't you know? Every person here just sitting by existing. We're like, like everyone in in the discourse, however, is some degree of action. No, not everyone. Wilhelm straight. We have so many fucking- we, we have the entire LGBTQ spectrums covered across our, our server. Actually, no, we don't have anyone trans on our server, do we? No, we do. Uh... No, we do. So, <laughs> oh, right, we do, yeah. Twitch yeah, will do. send a kneecap collector to your house. No, I didn't realize we had anyone trans. No, we do. Oh. Isn't it Molly? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot Molly was trans. Molly doesn't interact enough. Molly's a sweetheart. Yeah. It, it's unfortunate, but... You know. When you got real life stuff you need to do, you gotta do it, you know? Yeah. Okay. And we're finally done with this test. Oh, we're not done with this test. We're just done with that second. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. So, this is... Back in the day, this was like considered one of the most popular segments in the game. It's a really like stupidly simple bit, but it's like such a good example of what this game makes this game great. Speedy thing go in. Speedy thing go out. Dawson says Twitch will send the kneecap collector to your house, Ollie. Yeah, I read that earlier and laughed at it. 
The Nico Nico kneecaps need to go. To oh no. Oh no. That may be danger dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. So, this game is so short in comparison to Portal 2 that I like to consider this game like chapter 1 of Portal or like the prologue to Portal 2. Mm. Mhm. Mhm. Cuz like all in all this game's whole length is about the length of maybe two Portal 2 chapters. And Portal 2 has like Welcome the fuck to the Oh, we're on the last test. test. When you are done, oh, wow. you will drop the device in the equipment what? recovery annex. Enrichment center regulations require both hands to be Oh yeah, I just remember the two secret things of the other conversation, which I don't mean the backpedal, but you forgot about Dova too. Wait, Dova's trans? No! <laughs> He's straight! I don't know if Dova's straight. He posts more gay content than anyone else on the server. You know what, you're right, but he says he's straight, though. He be, he be outdoing me, I need to, like, step up. He's like, like I don't period. know. I don't know, Dova's about as straight as a sexton. What? Google search it. I don't wanna, guess I'm, I'm scared to search it up. <laughs> So Isn't how, the sextant a screen? device used in nautical equipment? Yes, and it's a very bent device. See how that one's green? It's because it's the only energy pellet in the game that doesn't disappear after a while. Mm. Fun, fun little detail. <laughs> a moment of respect for our colorblind friends. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Doss colorblind? Congratulations. The Cake. test is now over. All I think technologies remain safely well, isn't, operational um... up to four thousand. Guys, I know for is this. For the case. I know no the one person that's in the server that is not active anymore is also colorblind. What is that green gunk? Acid. I thought that was slime. Goodbye. They're gonna cook us into cake. Portal out! Portal out! We're not ready to be cake! Are we reen- are we reenacting Toy Story 3? <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the story online of the guy that worked at the theater, and he replaced what the, uh... What are you doing? Stop he, it. He cut the mo- or he cut out- or he edited the movie set when they all held hands and start rolling the credits. Oh god. Also, Dawson says, I am not colorblind, I'm regular blind. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? He does not see color. <laughs> you want, you know, I kind of want to see a reenactment of uh, Toy Story 3. I, I know this YouTube channel, um, we did the whole entirety of- With real toys? I remember yeah. showing you that. Yeah, I think we watched the whole movie actually, and it's so well made. <laughs> he got a little stanky on some parts, but- I wanna watch yeah, and, I mean, animated too. They recreated the like gas station with like the rocket on top with cardboard cutouts on a blue screen over an actual gas station. And it was kind of stanky, but I loved it. I think we missed one of the secret rooms, I just realized. One of the Doug Ratman oh, rooms. Oh no. Yeah, those background no. rooms. Oh, so now we've escaped, by the way. But those background. Oh! Wait, are we already here. escaped? Yeah, we were about to I be guess cooked. Did. Oh damn! That's quick. So but there is the uh oh. the, those background rooms are called the Doug Ratman rooms because that they were made. There's a Portal comic that was made again to hype up Portal Two, mm -hmm. revealing that those rooms were made by an Aperture Lab associate named Doug Ratman. That is a quite unfortunate name for someone who ends up digging tunnels in the walls. Mm. He's a also schizophrenic Dawson. who believed that the companion cube could talk. The reason why- that's the reason why Gladys advised people to not listen to her. Oh my god. Dawson, can I just say to you, if you're oh, blind, fuck. how the fuck are you typing? My good sir. How Braille? Are you typing? <laughs> Braille? <laughs> Is that how you type with Braille? <laughs> 
Okay, that didn't Real work. Real keyboard. Same. Wait, what do you, what you mean same? You gotta remember that Twitch chat is like two minutes behind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie. Man, though, I was, again, going, oh, I, I keep backpaddling, I'm sorry, but... Ima again, imagine a, a reenactment of Toy Story 3. Like, mm -hmm. not not with the toys, but like, you know with how- real people? Ryan, you know- Yeah, with the people with, sh with the, the Shrek of retelling or something like that. Or get, get like, really- Oh my god, that was- Just really fucking bad costumes. <laughs> okay, there, I made it. Like, there was- again, like, when I was watching that whole thing, there was one scene that looks like from a Netflix show. The way it was, like- Film for top, like you know, the with the uh, with the the video and everything. It reminds you a lot of a Netflix show, and I'm just like, am I watching something from Netflix or is this just a shit post? I don't know anymore. You guys look. <laughs> Cause there's some. I love this bit. We can look back at our former tests. You know how you mentioned these mm. windows arm. Mm. Right? Yes. But the facility. Now we are the windows. The facilities are completely you are abandoned. One with the windows. For those who haven't seen, it, they, I don't know. If there's a lot of people who know the plot of the game already, but uh, I think this is a powerful fucking moment in the game when mm -hmm. you start going, like where if you you. Oh wait, what is with that blood splatter? What? What is with what? If you look out the window and up a little bit, there's this weird oh, splat. Like Looks rusting. like someone hung himself. Huh. Also, why does the computer towers look like Xboxes? <laughs> this is uh, the legit, they look This is the Xbox 420. No, but <laughs> legit, they look like an Xbox, like an older version, like an Xbox 360. I mean, admittedly, they look like an Apple product had intercourse with an Xbox, and case, this is the result. A case form, oh, genetic life form and disc operating system. Oh, what does it say? Oh, competing with Black Mesa. That Excuse is the me. company from Half-Life. Mm. So, this implies that there is a competition between Black Mesa and Aperture, the company we're in. What is Black Mesa? They get a bunch of dill federal dollar. Not to bound by Government Performance and Result Act. So they're allowed to do things that other companies aren't while being under government contract. Mm. Oh lordy! So, okay, Aperture has a lot more proposed and far less awarded. Mm. Meanwhile, every single, single thing black- Oh, hang on, so... Genetic life from disc operating system. Defense logistic agency... It's development. Costly black- Aperture proposal, less expensive. So they're proposing a cheaper form of computing system. So they were probably mm. going to show this to the U.S. government to be like, you give so many contracts to Black Mesa, and they, when they pitch it, almost none, or every single thing they pitch you is fund. Meanwhile, we pinch thousand e thousands a year, or hundreds a year, and you don't accept any of them. Mmm, okay. Wait, what's over? Oh, that's where I came from. But yeah, the, um, if we had been looking at the windows more often going through, you would have been able to slowly notice, like, the falling over tables and such, or chairs and such, so you would have slowly realized there's no people. I think that this one matches this sort of almost horror at- You know what kind of weirdly reminds me of? No. Um, Ooh, we get to ride in the the tubes that they move the cubes through. Oh God! What if you no. get in? You get hit by the cube, dead. Oof! But you know what? It re weirdly reminds me of like that mm -hmm. whole pipe looking area what? in the lighting. It reminds me of like, uh, have you seen Nightmare on Elm Street? Uh, yes. You Only know? the Rick and Morty version. <laughs> I guess we're going back in the test rooms. I guess so, but you, okay, you sort of like the how the nightmare room now. looks you like, win. right? Where Go there's like the pipes and all that cake. garbage all around with the it lighting. This kind of reminds me of. we're all impressed at how much you won. Mm, I can kind the of see it over. from my second-hand uh, knowledge. 
Um, yeah, what I was saying before is like, ha uh, Half-Life has a very strong, almost horror aesthetic to it in the background. Like, it's an mm -hmm. action game primarily, but it's got a horror aesthetic. Uh -oh. This game very much captures that atmosphere well. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember if you get to see Gladys in this game or only in the second one. I thought you could see him in the first game. I guess I will find out if you get there, but... I think we'll beat this game today. Oh god. I mean, you're speedrunning it, like, really fast. Yeah. Oh. No, it's the top speed runs are like literal seconds long. You just no You're... clip you just no clip out of the environments and warp across the map. That's the top Play speed runs of this game. Play through the game regularly, rather fast. Well, yeah, like if you're not doing that, like that type of speed run, but I mean, like regular, you know, mm. you're you're plowing it pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. God damn it. Sorry. I mean, that is no, literally no. what she said, she being veneer. Also, I like all of the. He made it look like the same sign has, like, oh, fit, escape test chamber. You know? Mm -hmm. Which, um. Why did he not just mirror the escape symbol so it looks like it's going the right way instead of having to put an error? Arrow. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh. Core design choice. But also, oh. he's a schizophrenic, so... Yeah, that's true. Also, Ryan, I thought the idea that what we could do one day. What? Role play together. Ultimate Chicken Horse. Oh, an Ultimate <gasps> Chicken Horse. Yes. If I beat this, would you guys want to play some Ultimate Chicken Horse afterward? Right I can play a little I bit can try, yet. but no promises. I, I would need to find my controller. My pawsy wazzies have been a little bit hurdy wordy. I love oh, well. Glad uh, this trying to like talk to us the whole time. Which at this point we don't actually know that the name of the person talking to us is supposed to be Gladys. Mm. But it's Gladys. It, it's Karen. Gladys. It's a Karen. <laughs> We're gonna talk to a Karen, let's be real here. Oh, no, it's Karen fit in ter it has a hate term now. Would Twitch ban me for saying Karen? I don't know. Do you care? Then? Aha! Comes. Uh, of every time we enter a room, more guys talk to us as one of these. Ah! Probably because otherwise she has no way to talk to us. Yeah. Okay, so is that oh. is oh god, oh god, oh god! She just got crushed. Yep. These parts of the game are so Ooh. much more disorienting. Which, um, there, there's a fun fact of the design. Early designs of the game, the whole game was gonna have this kind of aesthetic of just like offices and such. The problem was playtesters struggled to understand their surroundings, so the developers realized that that was the kind that they kind of had to build up to this style. They couldn't have it like that from the beginning. That's why it had the ended up getting the clean testing environment aesthetic. Oh, what the fuck? That's slightly too far to the side. Also, Dawson has said, you guys are like middle schoolers. <laughs> you guys just looked at that. Hey Dawson, I mean... I think we're all 12 in the chat, right? Uh, I'm 12, the body of 12 an 8-year-old woman with the mind of a 12-year-old. Oh god, that, that's horrifying. I mean, Dawson, you're ta you're seeing some people with baby humor. I mean, nothing can change for there. Legit, if someone put in like a fart in reverb, I would probably lose my shit. <laughs> I really wish I could just play a then reverb again. And fart sound at the moment we said that. 
Then again. Then again, I mean, fucking Wilhelm killed me with the uh oh stinky, stinky memes. Uh oh. And I hated it so much. Stinky. No! No! Oops. Oh. No! Oh, no! Please stop. Oops. Not, not the memes. I'm also, like, so disoriented. I don't know where is up, which way we're going, what's happening. Are we going diagonal? Are we going upside down? Oh, what are oh, we doing? I guess we're going down, we're yelling timber. Yelling timber. I'm just going anywhere I can at this point. Work your body down Can you destroy the thing on the wall that she's talking to you from? I don't think you can. Oh, okay. Did um, they ever go into detail what the portal fluid and stuff is made out of? Yes. Or how it works? Portal 2 goes very in-depth on all that stuff, which I will play through Portal 2 in the future. Okay. Portal 2, I think, is... I'd argue Portal 2 is one of the best examples of video game storytelling out there. Mm -hmm. Like, Valve has always been revolutionary when it comes to video game storytelling, and Portal 2 is, I think, the pinnacle of that. Half-Life is famous for being one of the first games out there to have in-game cutscenes. You know, where, like... They would deliver to you dialogue and important information during gameplay rather than cutting away to it or showing just a block of text. Hmm. Also, what are you trying to do? Because I, I'm yeah. getting confused. So exit is this way, apparently, according to the the rat man's message. Oh, I see. Okay. Thank you. I love these tubes that they're moving the cubes around in. They're basically just supposed to be giant pneumatic tubes. Like, can, like, these aren't even pressurized, the cubes in the tube. Can you imagine how much wind power they must be pumping through these? Oh. Yeah. Going in those spell probably kill you. It's like gotta be hurricane force wind. Yeah, you'll be dead, honestly. Ooh, God. I just realized we're escaping essentially from a fucking abusive relationship with a robot. I mean, Portal 2 really exemplifies that. What, 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 I don't want to talk too much about what Portal 2 storytelling is going to be like, but... Come on, can you make the jump? Come on, you can do it. There you go. Oh, are you watching the Are you talking to your buddy? I think she's watching the Twitch stream version, which is at a slight oh, delay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I have two versions up, so I was looking at da the chat with Dawson, so... Yeah. Again. Again with the, the Xboxes. And beans <laughs> and the Xboxes. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, they look like Xboxes. <gasps> they are actually scalpers! Now we know! Aperture made their own computers, beans and water. You know, that's the thing I never thought about. That's three pieces of thing that we know Aperture as a company definitely produced. Oh, I don't trust this. Portal 2 makes... Tor Portal 2 makes my trauma stop for a bit. <laughs> Damn, Dawson. I don't like this. This is making me very uncomfortable. Oh god. Almost- I thought I almost had a cramp on my arm. <laughs> she almost got us with a trap. Target lost. <laughs> Yep. That, that was actually a pretty smart trick on Gladys's part. Oh god. Fuck. Not funny. Did not laugh. Oh. And look at Dawson. There's the hand that she put the turrets in here with. Oh. But it looks like this one is stuck. Are you still there? Thank you, Ratman. You're not a good person. You, you almost got it. Right. You almost got it. Good people, don't end up here. Oh god. Can you hear me? Hello. 
Oh god. Oh god. Okay, it doesn't have any bullets. Hi. Hi. What's going on, fellas? Alright, where are we going now? Target lost. Up there. Okay. Target lost. This looks like they were doing turret maintenance in this room. But we still haven't seen any definitive signs of people still being active. Mm. I like how you just make portals there where you can just climb the thing, but you can't- you don't even I have mean, an option to I mean, you definitely can't climb it because, uh, those are not held on very stably. What? Yeah, no, I know. But I'm just saying, like, I just find it funny that you just use the portals to climb instead of trying to physically climb the- the handlebars. <laughs> She has noodle arms. Put me down. Noodle arms. Target lost. Over here, he says. What's what's to this little hole? What is the drawing of a man and what's on his right? Wait, where's there a drawing of a man? The the drawing next to the door. Oh, it's an arrow. Oh, I thought yeah. it's something else. It looks like a little man. The There's more of those alive. goddamn Xboxes. Cake is a lie, cake is a lie. Hello? Can I help you? Oh. Dreaded Xboxes. She's watching you. Beep. She's watching Oh no, it just hit me. What was he drawing with? It's all either um. red or brown writing. Well, there's some black, actually. But, uh... You know what? It's paint. It's paint. Don't question it, it's paint. Mm -hmm. He's being watched by the Xboxes. It's not through the cameras, it's through the fucking weird looking. Just like real Microsoft. Xbox 360. This is your huh? fault. It didn't have to what? be like this. Watching us through Xboxes. Wait. I'm not kidding now. Turn back or I uh, will kill you. Yep. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last chance. Um, the turn back now, or I will kill you. I am going <laughs> to kill you. So, I oh, find it a shame that this turret right here does not reappear in Portal 2. Mm -hmm. I think they're quite cool. Like I, th I like their design. They are visually very cool. I actually don't remember if we play Cell in the next game. My goldfish brain forgot. Okay. So yeah. that's gonna be interesting to find out for future me. Hold on, I want to make him break this glass here. How do I angle him? So Why don't you stand in oh front of Oh my god. Him? See, I was, tr I was trying to think with portals. I was overcomplicating yeah. it. <laughs> Why are you overcomplicating it? Goodbye. We like to call it you don't see the forest with all the trees. Mm. So now we have this glass here. So let's just... Now, now you gotta think with the portal. Hey, buddy. Bum baited. Thanks for the help. Oh, I thought we had to destroy the thing. I guess not. Hmm. Leave the turn alive. It just wants to. Oh no. Okay, we do. Hold on. I just think we don't think we can destroy it from below. I'm confused by the comment Dawson made in chat. Shell confirmed serial Minecraft murderer because good people can't be an aperture question mark? Oh, uh, earlier Gladys said uh you're you're not a good person, you know. Good people don't end up here. 
And we, let's also throw in the fact that she wears an orange jumpsuit. Man, actually, that's what mm -hmm. we're thinking about. Okay, so bringing in some info from the sequel and from the comics. We find out in the comic that the reason Chell is being tested is because Doug Ratman pushed her up in the testing. Because he was looking for somebody with a strong disdain, who has a history of strong disdain for authority. You know, that way somebody would break out. Mm -hmm. He wanted someone who would break out like we are. Additionally, every single operator staff, or uh, test subject at this point wears an orange jumpsuit. And we know that as time went on, Aperture had to start getting their test subjects from shadier and shadier resources. Well, you'll learn that in Portal 2. I wonder if all of this is supposed to infer something dark about Chell. The, oh. the character that we play as. Maybe. It's an interesting thought. I could see it. Mm. Me too. You're coming with me, Cube. It's not the companion cube, but you'll have to do. Your name's Jerry now. Jerry the Cube. Is it with me or is when you're gradually becoming quieter and quieter? I'm not quiet. I have the volume I, up. I think she's just becoming less verbose. Huh. I'm surprised that, like, every time I talk, Arma, you, it's always quiet. I have the volume so high. I have you on 200% and I can barely hear you. I don't know. But I have had other instances where people are like, I'm super loud, I'm peeking on my end, I'm beyond good and evil. Meanwhile, I'm like, I can't hear oh, shit. Beyond good and evil. <laughs> oh, God. The ground here is all slippery and making gross sounds when we walk. <laughs> I'm, I'm in two. Because don't touch. No, no, I'm not, I didn't sneeze. I didn't sneeze. I was just making reaction to that. Like, oh, God. You were just adding onto the snot on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, turn. There goes, there goes little Timmy. Oh no, don't name them. I feel bad for them. That one's Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Joe, oh, no! I'm sorry. Go, Joe! Hi. That is Maria. Maria. Goodbye, Maria. That uh -oh. is. Giselle. Goodbye, Giselle. Giselle is feisty. No, it's Giselle, not <laughs> And that one is... Johnny. No. Goodbye, Johnny. Johnny didn't know. That is Tony. Also goodbye, Tony. Oh, Tony's alive. They just wanted to say Tony's I don't blame the one. you. And then that one is Dennis. Goodbye, Dennis. Yes, I am naming them. I am naming them. <laughs> what? What's wrong, Arma? <laughs> All those little turrets. Oh, that one. That one is um uh, Angelo. I mean, they're not dead. Oh, they're just no, going to sleep. No, Joe, Tony, Angelo, they're all dead and gone. Arma just really likes the little turrets. They are very cute. I feel bad for them. Okay, now Who we're above favorite? that room. Uh, I oh, think God. I think Giselle because of how she was fighting to be alive. <laughs> Giselle. <God>. Oh. <laughs> that one. Oops. That one over there is Vincent. Goodbye, Vincent. I mean, he's packing a punch. He's he's standing okay. strong. Don't you know he's from New York? I think there was a oh, way to zoom. Is Vincent kind of in? Huh? <laughs> Vincent's there gonna win. Go. Oh, yeah, I was goes. making a horrible pun because that's what I do. Oh, there goes there goes his brother, um, Andrew. <laughs> God. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm just. I, I'm sorry. I'm adding lore to these fucking turns. What do you want from me? Oops, oops. I'm adding personalities to them. Ugh, <sighs> it hurts. So we gotta get up there. So let's just run over here. God, the fact that this one- the sequel gives you a run button, and like, I keep trying to hit the run button, and it's killing me. <laughs> when Brian forgets not to run. <laughs> Well, you can't Man, it's actually crazy to think about that, that video games used to not really have run options. 
Well, no, you're thinking at Halo. the time this was made, there was a run button. Like, Half-Life 2, which this is in the engine of, had a run button. They just opted to not hmm. give this game a run button. To give it a, a... This one definitely has a much more... slow, somber tone... than the sequel. The other one. Yeah, there was a lot of games that didn't... have that much of run buttons, though. I think the first, like... game that really changed... The meta for movement was Titanfall, in my opinion. Oh god, I want to get Like, Titanfall. grappling, running up walls, sprinting. Oh, mm. oh, oh. So look at this. Is this the outside? No, this is the inside. This whole- it's some sort of room separated from the rest of the facility. Hmm. Can we get there? There's nowhere else we can go. We're gonna see mommy. Oh, oh, oh! It's her. Well, you found me. Yep, it's mommy. It's mommy Gladys. Was what are we gonna do about despite it? Despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that, and we'll just call it a day. I you guess know, we both know those, that like, isn't going like, to uh, happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. They look like they have a smiley face on them. Deploying surprise in five, four. But I know that that's not, for a second. that's not That wasn't thing. supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell oh. out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? So, uh, remember when I we had to emancipate My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse mm -hmm. somehow. Who's payback, bitch? Good old video game design. That was I our don't tutorial. Want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave mm -hmm. that thing alone. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. Well, she asked for it, I mean. It actually makes you wonder if you can put it back on her. Pick it up and can't. You're kidding me. Did you just set that Aperture Science thing, we don't know what it does, into an Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. What are they supposed to do anyway? Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated well, did. We're about to find it was out. a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the It was her, mor emitters. her moral compass. Huh. Oh. So now they're flooding you in with a deadly neurotoxin. I can't shut off the turret mm. defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lay down in front of a rocket. Trust me, it'll be a lot less painful than a neurotoxin. Fuck you! Alright. Get booped on. You and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. Yep. The rocket really is the way to go. What do we have here? Little yellow buddy? What is that? That thing you burned up isn't so, important. So, this is a curiosity core. catalytic cracking. You destroyed her huh. morality. Let's get rid of her curiosity, shall we? Nice job breaking it, hero. Yeah, you don't want to know what happens when we're dead, right? Oh, hey, you're the lady from the test. This isn't brave. It's murder. Oh, I almost feel bad like this. Two different personalities, kind of cute. The difference between us is that I. Curiosity looks like he did nothing wrong though. You don't even... <laughs> oh, you think you're oh it's damage? green, no! Two plus two is... Makes me remember Andrew! You <laughs> make me remember four, Andrew! Fine. <laughs> about your behavior. Well, Why is she? Managed to destroy that that one was cool. Why? Unfortunately, it's up there. She needed it! <laughs> I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any It's faster. gone! Where you go? Like to point out that you were given every Is that the space core? Was it sent to space? There was even there. going to be a party for you. A big party mm. that all your friends were invited to. Is this supposed to, to go that high? Did your best friend the companion cube? Of course, he couldn't come because you were Oh, there's a timer ticking down. I was wondering yeah. when we would die. We're being poisoned. You don't have any other friends because of how unlikable you are. So this one is a cake mix, or a cake recipe. 
Oh. That one seems harmless, though. I bet you someone has actually baked that recipe. Uh, yes, if I recall, it is actually a recipe from the cake shop that was across the the road from the company that was or from Val. Speaking of curiosity, you're curious about what happens after you die, right? Guess Goodbye, what? cake. Neurotoxin. <laughs> so deadly. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Kidding. When I said deadly neurotoxin. The deadly was in massive sarcasm. Oh, well, I think that's gonna I miss, isn't it? This stuff. Put it on cereal, rub it right into Well, thank you for leaning into it. On the other hand, Hopefully, that thing did not disappear. And who's gonna make the cake? This oh, it's me. This is the armor core. The red one? So, it's worth mentioning, I was very much taking my time with this. They're a little bit generous with the time, but I guess that's fair. Considering this is the only time segment of the game. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so wrong? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> Things have changed since the last time you were here. Sounds like a chipmunk or a smurf right there. Goodbye. Oh god! Oh god, you casted yourself into the fire like the ring! Oops. Did you have to read you that again? Oh no! Oh, motherfucker! Well, I think that answers that. God damn it! All right, let's go. Now you can show how you do it when you do it fast. All right. God, how am I getting to aim this bad? I think you might want to look at where Gladys actually is. Oh god. Oh god! Maybe you should have made fun of the red one. The red one was very angry. <laughs> nice job breaking it, hero. Curiosity, though. Curiosity hurts me. What's that? What's that? This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even care. Actually, I could have done that in a better way. Whatever. Also, Hi. Dawson says you can't fold GLaDOS. Is that a gun? They're programmed to be that way. That's yeah. true. But some oh, I was feeling cold and I went to go grab my favorite blanket, which is very fuzzy on one side. Or should I say, used to be, because my mom decided to throw it into the wash at fucking high temperature and now it's no longer fluffy and I'm sad. No longer anger core, I'm sad core. First time I, I, I aim up every rocket perfectly, this time I'm fucking it up. How am I aiming this bad? I know you were doing it a little bit better before. Brian having a bit of stormtrooper uh, aim. He couldn't come because you needed him. I think you might want to look at where the rocket is coming from. Here we go, this one should line up. How am I- There, that's better. Oh my god, she swung out of the way. Hold still, woman. God, finally, okay. There we go. I can't believe I'm fucking up this bad. This time you're probably gonna run out of time. Okay, that blue one's gonna be annoying. Cake mix. I have anything though. Cake mix. Mm-hmm. 
Nice job. I wonder why they even you. struck the cake mix onto her. Oh, why did someone make a core for cake mix? This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? No, goodbye. No! <laughs> Gladys, are we forgetting that you literally wanted to throw us into a fire? Like, so dead. shit? Joking. <laughs> when I said deadly neurotoxins, the deadly was in massive sarcasm quote. I could take a bath in this stuff, put it on the table, and rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, to me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less funny. Who's gonna make the cake when I'm gone? You. Did that one just like freeze no up? That one was going so on. It was like this last time. Yeah. What's it glitching? No, no, no. I think it's supposed to be like that. Are you sure? Yeah, it's supposed to suspend yeah. in the air to make it hard to get. I thought it was. I thought it was glitching. Goodbye, Gladys. It's playing hard to get in here. Fuck you. Okay, angry boy, you're going in. Including this thing. Get in. You've been wrong. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Goodbye, Gladys. Rest in peace. She's tearing herself apart. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Wait, is that the sky? We got pulled up too. But the uh... daylight in your eyes. But, yeah, I think we're gonna, gonna hop off. I just want to stay a little bit for the stream, so. Yeah, and then you stuck for the whole stream. Thank you. For yes. Okay. So that Alrighty voice then. and us getting dragged was not in the original release. That was in the last update to tease the mm. sequel. Mm. Also, fun fact: to get that effect mm. there of Gladys laying there, there's just two Gladyses. Huh? Mm. Makes sense. But either way, see ya, folks. Just yeah. wanted to stop by, even though I stayed by for the whole thing. I'll see you in here. All right. A nice nice day. See ya. Adios. So many more cores, huh? Mm -hmm. There's a cake. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Test assessment we're streaming for? The answer is yes. Hey! And only about two hours. Oh, yeah, so if I had gone back to the menu periodically, the menu background changes through a number of things. It starts showing the chamber that you're asleep in. And, like, so if you leave during the boss mm -hmm. fight, it's showing Gladys' chamber, and it always is just like a still camera on whatever test chamber you're in. And this is the, mm -hmm. the post-completion one. Yeah. That's something I like about the Valve games, is that the background changes periodically as you go through. Mm -hmm. Alright. So now the question is, what are we gonna do next? I see Dawson saying Encore. <laughs> I uh, think because he was singing so nice. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> I could hop to Portal 2. I could go back and try- so I could start doing more pixel art work. You know, continue making the banner. What are you guys feeling? I'll leave it up to you. I want to see more banner stuff, because like, right. pixel art is cool. I don't understand how people do pixel art, because it seems tedious. But I like doing tedious things. Companion cube. Yeah, that's true. Cool. So, I'll start getting up the stuff and I'll switch the stream over to that. Woo.
Uh, Twitch banner. I need to stop ooing so hard. Oh, I it's already need... capturing the window. Yeah. We're just going to ban me from being an ego. Switch no, it to specific window they paint. Hold on. Uh, Twitch banner paint. Wouldn't it make sense to pause the stream here for a moment and then oh, it's, reopen it? It's fine. You sure? For YouTube upload, it would be easier. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm gonna quickly pause the recording, come back, and we'll be working more on this image uh, on the next stream. So, uh, stop stream.